So here we have the Audi Q3 on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, we have a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car are 40,663. Above that, you can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. So we have a kind of a trip computer fuel economy menu that we're on at the moment. There are other menus available as well, though. So we have our audio menu and also our telephone menu as well. So once you pair your phone, you'll be able to see information up on there. We're back out to the steering wheel. The buttons that I was using just a moment ago are on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone can only be used after such times you paired it up, and that is done using the screen over in the center just here, uh, and the buttons here to activate it. So you can rotate it round to whatever it is you want to highlight, uh, and then enter that menu from there. So for example, we can go around to telephone, and go into that menu or press the telephone button on the stereo unit itself to go directly into this menu and from there you can pair up your phone uh, we can access our music as well of course from here so we have the radio and as you can see uh, we have DAB radio this car also has FM and medium wave as well if you want to listen to your own music you can do you do that under the media heading and when we look at that, you'll be able to see that we've got an SD memory card uh, slot, so you can save music and pop it onto an SD card. We have a CD player. Uh, we've also got AMI, which is a, a plugin that's unique to Audi, uh, and you can plug in many devices into that. And we have Bluetooth audio as well. So uh, not only can you make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly uh, once you've paired your phone up. Working our way down, we have the CD player, SD memory card slot, the button I was using to do all of that on the screen just a moment ago, and these buttons here, they can all be used for the screen, or as I said, you can directly access things from these buttons. We then have the main volume for the stereo to the left-hand side. Beneath that, we have the dual zone climate control. So I can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures independently of one another, fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning on and off. So it's on at the moment, off or back on again. Or you can hit the auto button. When I do that, the car will take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed, as you can see, to maintain those temperatures for you. You can override that whenever you wish to and put it back on whatever setting you want it on here as well. With a heated rear screen, if you hit that button, that will divert the car's air conditioning to the front screen. Above that, we can turn off the traction control we can turn off the stop and start as well. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is turned off when that light shows. And then finally, drive select will enable you to change the driving setup of the car. So we're in comfort mode, auto, so the car decides for you, dynamic, so it's sporty, efficiency for fuel economy, and then back round to the beginning. And every press of that button will take you round in a circle through those options. We have a six speed manual gearbox, automatic or electronic handbrake, a 12 volt charging socket underneath here and a cigarette lighter just there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.